Hey you guys, it's Katrina and today we're going to be learning about the different places to put your money if you want to put it in a bank. So, there are three places where you can put your money. A savings account, credit cards, and a checking account. We're going to be going over each of these today, so hope you all are ready. So first we have a savings account. What is it? Well, a savings account is a bank account where you deposit money, earn interest, and make withdrawals. How does it work? In a savings account, you deposit money whenever you want to, and then the bank takes that money and loans it to someone else. Don't worry, you still have the same amount in your account, but the bank uses that money to give, let's say, a small business loan or help a potential investor. And in turn for using that money, the bank gives you interest for having it in your account as well. Some benefits to having an account is that all accounts are easy to open and you can easily access your money when you need to. Also, if your bank is protected under the FDIC, which is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, then even if your bank closes, your account balance, if under $250,000, will be insured and not lost in the closure. Some disadvantages to this type of an account include low interest rates from 1.25% to 1.35% each year. And many banks have a maximum number of times you can withdraw money from your account per statement cycle, which is each month. Is it worth it, though? Although you do not yield a lot of money from this account, it's good to have for emergency funds. And keeping your money in a bank has more benefits than keeping it at home. For example, in a bank, your money is secure, insured, and even makes a little bit of money on top of it. While at home, it can be lost, destroyed, or even stolen. Next, we have credit cards. So credit cards allow the holder to borrow funds from the bank while paying the money back at a later time for the charge, including interest. They are not attached to an account, but rather to a credit card number or a credit card holder who is given credit from the bank to use. How does it work? When you buy something with your credit card, this purchase is added to your credit account. Once a month, the bank will then send you a bill with all of your purchases, and you now have to pay it in full by the due date with your own money. If you do not pay it in full, there is, there is a minimum amount you can pay, but what is not paid goes on the next bill with interest. Some potential pitfalls to having a credit card are, it is easier for you to spend money since cash seems scarce, making people less likely to spend it, but unlike credit cards which make you feel like you have more money than you actually have. But there are benefits to a credit card, which include the bank helping you avoid fraud, which basically means if someone tries to charge your credit card without your knowledge, you're not liable for that expense, and it does not affect your bank account. Other benefits include extended protections, such as purchase protection, extended warranties, and purchase price protection, which means that the bank can refund some or all of the cost of your item if the purchase price decreases. Some banks also offer credit card rewards, such as cashback rewards or airline miles. Is it worth it? When used responsibly, the, word, the rewards that a card can offer, such as cashback, travel miles, protection, and other perks can be potentially better than a debit card. But it is always good to continue carrying cash, and if spendings get out of hand, your credit card can potentially ruin your finances. Finally, we have checking accounts. So what is a checking account? This type of account is a deposit account that allows for withdrawals and deposits. How does it work? In a checking account, you put money in, which is then used every day through withdrawals, deposits, and spending. You also need one in order to apply for a credit card, and a debit card is given to you through the account. What is a debit card? A debit card deducts payments directly from your checking account and has many of the same benefits as a credit card. Transactions appear on the bank's monthly statements, but they do not allow users to borrow on credit, and some have purchasing limits. How is this different from a savings account? Well, checking accounts hold money that is used daily, while savings accounts hold money that is not intended to be used often, and mainly for emergencies. How is it different from a credit card? While debit cards are backed by personal deposits, real credit cards are backed by a loan from the bank. Some benefits to this account include a personal line of credit to help you manage your money better, 
rather than relying on loans, security for your money, and your interest on the money in your account. Some potential downfalls include withdrawal limitations, potential debit card and overdraft fees, and a limitation on your debit card due to the amount of money in your account. So those are the three main types of accounts that you could open in a bank. And I hope you guys learned something from all of the information that I just presented to you. I've also linked these three websites below where I got some of my information from my slides. And they can also help you further understand if you have more questions. So that's it for today, you guys. I just want to add on, I have a survey down below that I would really appreciate it if you took so that I can get more information on how my videos are doing. And I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.